Hello and welcome to the Longines Global Champions Tour here in Paris. For all of us on the tour, it's all about the horse. We're very lucky in our sport to have a whole group of legends, both horse and rider. And this week we're going to meet three of the very, very best. John Whitaker, Luga Birmam and Rolf Joran Benson. Between them, it is seven Olympic golds, 15 World Championship medals and 29 European Championship medals to their name. But what about their three rides here this week? Legends themselves, Argento, Casalask and Sharman. Between them, 29 Grand Prix wins. They really are stars of the sport. So let's meet the three kings. He's, he's won more than any other horse I've had. Uh, he's, like I say, he's 14 now. He's probably, this is probably his prime. Although, you know, hopefully he'll do a few more years, but he's probably, probably he's at his prime. He, his jump has always been good from the word go. He was a bit of a character. When we first started jumping him, he had his own ideas and but he's always been really good. I mean, I think for three years, from a four, five, six-year-old, I think he had something like two fences down. In, you know, in the in the home, in the ring, in the in the collecting ring. So he, from the word go, he's always been really careful. He's he's never wanted to touch the jumps. From one legend to another, Rolf Urabengson, as I'll ask. I think he's a very honest guy. He wants to do his job as good as he can. Uh, his record of uh, doing the big classes is amazing actually. He is nearly every time been in the second round in the Global Championship Tour classes. And I think last weekend was the 15th time on the podium. So it's an it's amazing record. He's so consistent. For sure my, my best horse ever. Uh, I've not had other horses so long time as him. Um, I had in my career very many good horses and been lucky that way but to have a horse so many years in a row and, and do the whole development yourself together with him, uh, it has been a fantastic journey during the year. He has been winning a few of the Global Champions Tour on the complete different arena. He won in Chantilly in Hamburg with his two very big grass rings. And he won in Monaco with this, which is the smallest of them all in the, in the sand. So in that way he's a fantastic complete horse, a, able to, to do it everywhere. And our final king, Shaman with Luke Gebirbaum. I must say the feeling from the beginning in terms of at the jump, uh, riding between the fences, working him at home was really, really nice from day one. I think even though he tries to show off a little bit and he is a bit of a macho type, he deep inside is a really kind, genuine horse, you know. He likes to show off, but it, when it really comes to thinks uh, he is more the kind and, and uh, even in a way a bit shy horse you know and uh, that's I think also why he's so good you know he can have both sides uh, on the other hand he is also a tough horse in terms of he can go three four five six weeks in a row he's always in the morning ready here I am and looking back now I must say I, I was really lucky and I'm happy that I have him and had him all the time he's done a really really good job well, there's our three kings of the tour. Long may they reign.